Hi everyone, this is Ryan from RyanMCollins.com and today we're going to talk about setting up the perfect development environment. That means we're going to have some fun with Xcode Workspaces. If you aren't familiar, an Xcode Workspace is just a collection of projects and that makes it easy to use things like the perfect library that have to be compiled and linked in order to make your application work. So, to get started, I'm going to make a project folder here and I'm just going to call this Hello... I'm just going to call this Hello Perfect. Save it on the desktop. All right, now that we've got that, and since we're all going to follow good developer procedure, I'm just going to pull up the terminal here, and I'm going to cd into my desktop. I'm going to cd into Hello Perfect, and I'm going to git init. All right, so we've created a new git repository inside of our project folder. So once we're there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to download Git itself. So I'm just going to navigate here in GitHub over to github.com forward slash perfectly soft forward slash perfect. You're going to go into the releases and we're just going to, I'm just going to download the perfect version 1.0, the source code. And the reason I'd like to do that in this video is so that not only I can show everyone using a common download that everyone can get, but they're currently making some back-end changes for the next version of Swift that use package handlers and things that are going to cause our project to be broken if we don't. All right, so I'm just going to grab that and bring it over here for us. We'll uncompress that. All right, get rid of the zip. All right, so there we have our perfect release version 1.0, and I'm going to leave that outside of my project folder. Now the reason I'm going to leave that outside of my project folder is because Perfect itself is a Git repository, and once you're working with it, you'll likely have a clone, and you don't necessarily want to manage many, many different versions of Perfect for all of the different applications you're going to make. You'd rather just have it in its own repository separate and then make references to it. And we'll get into how to do that in just a second. So. Now that we've got all of our release, it's time to actually make our Xcode workspace. So I'm just going to go into Xcode here. I'm going to go to File, New Workspace. And we're going to save this as Hello Perfect. And we're going to go to, not my developer folder, but we're going to go to my desktop. I'm just going to grab the Hello Perfect project folder that I made. And I'm just going to put that workspace inside of there. All right. So that's our workspace. It's pretty simple. It's completely empty. So the first thing we're going to have to do in the workspace is add files to it. So I'm just going to go up here to File and then Add Files to Hello Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go on to my desktop and I am going to go to my Perfect Version 1 folder. Okay. I'm going to open Perfect Library here. You're going to look for perfect library.xcode project, hit options. We are going to make sure that copy items to destination groups folder is unchecked and that we're creating folder references. Remember when I said earlier, we only want to manage perfect in one repository. Well, this is how we do that and how we link it without actually having it in our project. So I'm just gonna hit add. Okay, now we've got the perfect library. I'm gonna go over here to add files. I am going to Go back over to my desktop, grab perfect version.1.0. We're going to grab the perfect server. We're going to grab its project file. We're just going to add that as well. All right, so now that we have both of those in there, we can actually begin to build our own project. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File New Project just like you usually do when you're building iOS or OS X applications. I'm going to go into OS X Framework and Library, and I'm going to add a Cocoa Framework. And this is how we're going to build it. We're going to call this Hello Perfect. Just keep things consistent. Swift is our language, and we're going to use unit tests. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and save that inside my Hello Perfect project folder. I want to add it to the Hello Perfect workspace in the Hello Perfect group. I'm just going to hit create. Super! 
And if you've done all these things correctly, you're ready to move on to the next video where we learn how to make the actual first project work.